right folks, you join me at um, Sorrel, I think it's Sorrel Hill, Stone Circle. It's really nice actually. Uh, it's bloody windy as you can hear on here. Of course, uh, probably a have to put the music over this. Because it is so Take the tent down because this tent ain't gonna stand 50 mile per hour gusts. And the gorse where I was, there was absolutely no wind protection whatsoever. I've just been walking around for like I don't know two hours trying to find some wind shelter. And this is the best I can do amongst fucking rabbit shit, cow shit. Do you have to move the tent to here, not the best place in the world. <laughs> Why everywhere else in the uh, south of England is um, having some lovely sunshine, um, warm weather, no wind here. Yeah. It's going to be 50 mile per hour gusts, it's really windy now. It's going to be absolutely hammering in that hole, and it's a little bit chilly as well. So, um, yeah, four seasonal weather in uh, spring. That's the lowest brightness. Um, it's very windy. Just from here. Um, luckily, it's a good job I um, camped by the uh, moved. So I don't think the tent stayed up where I was. So I'm um, happy that I moved. It's not rained all night. Um, yeah, not too bad, but it's 
supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'll keep you updated. Okay, morning folks, I slept in here last night. Maybe you all night, it's still going to there. It's starting to piss down. So I'm about to really hammer it down to get to Chegford. Folks, today has been um, a very, very windy and wet day. I'm in a uh, forest at the moment, walking towards a little place called Water. Just left Lusley, which is absolutely stunning village. Or I don't think it's a town. It's it's beautiful, and um, it Chad Chad Chadford was. Um, was really nice as well. That's a town, small town. Um, and I'm walking through the forest to uh, a place called Water. I'm pleased to report there is um, there is a bridge. As, as I was walking down, I couldn't see a bridge at all. I was thinking, oh man, I've got to walk miles and miles back to go back to the bridge to cross in the wrong direction and then walk up miles on the other side. But lucky there's a bridge and. Um, this is the, uh, I don't know if you can see it behind me, this is the old bridge. And guess what? There's a new bridge! <laughs> I'm going to be a bit of a pussy and cross the um, new bridge rather than the old one. But I would have crossed the, obviously I would have crossed the old bridge if that was the only choice, but as it's a nice brand new bridge, I'm going to cross that. I mean, it has been raining, it's not seriously heavy rain, but imagine what this is like in heavy rain. There's the old bridge down there. So, on my way to Bowman's Nose camping. It's tempting to camp down here, but I want to wake up um, a bowman's nose so I can get some good shots before the tourists arrive. Hi there folks, I'm in fucking Manton, do you know what that means? It's bloody International Man Day, that's what it is. Just a bit out of the wind. you what, I take so much stuff with me camping that my whole tent just gets a mess and I'm trying to find stuff and I can't, you know, I can't get stuff in time. But anyway, I'm just going to tell you a tip. You probably know it already anyway, but when I'm boiling eggs, boil all my eggs at once, not only do I use the, water, the boiled water to boil the eggs, I can make a coffee with it afterwards, or uh, 
and um, I can boil some, uh, cook some noodles with the water or just use it for something else. Like, um, so it saves water if you're not by um, like a stream. I'll put quite a bit. Yeah, that's enough for eggs. Um, that might be enough for a coffee after or noodles. So um, yeah, let's put that on the cook now. Okay, so uh, let's uh, put this on. Well, first, actually, before I put that on, I'm going to um, get my uh, lighter. I did have it just now. All right, found it. And I'm going to turn this on. Yeah. Sorry about the tripods moving about there. And then put that on there. I'll tell you what I love about this system for those of you who have watched my videos before will know that I use this cook system um, for many reasons one very good reason is I get these gas cans for night sometimes less than 99p each they're way cheaper than the you know the regular shaped hiking things I've got a special adapter for my cooker that fits on this to take these as well so I can take both then I use this this wind sort of shield and it's a heat reflector to keep the heat in and with this you can put the uh, gas up like that for when it's running out which is really good tip it upside down so you get all the gas out um, it's just a very good system anyway I'm uh, it's a Cosifo spider stove anyway but those of you who watch my videos you would know that already anyway so I'm boiling the eggs now ready to um, Eat and um, I'm going to make some either some coffee or with that water that's left over, or uh, make some noodles, or possibly both. But I think it's just going to be enough for coffee, really. So my um, eggs are ready, and the water has been boiling for three minutes on boil. So let's pour some of the water in there for my noodles. That's enough for those. Now. Turn that off for a second. Save the gas. And now let's take out the eggs and put them in here. They're hard boiled now, so I can hike with them, no problemo. And the waters are left, I'm going to make another noodle or coffee. Um, I'm probably going to make another noodle, I think. How much water have I got there? Let's have a look. Just enough for a noodle, I think. Another noodle. Morning, folks. You join me at the old man. Oh, right there. What's he called again? Um, I forgot the name. Summit Nose. Um, Bowman's Nose. That's it. Bowman's Nose. You join me there. And uh, the weather's much better than yesterday, as you can see. 
I've just done some droning, so it's too windy. Tent down, and then I'll be um, on my way to Kitty J's grave. Okay, folks, I've um, put my tent down um, at Balmine's nose. I've uh, charged up all my stuff, well, as much as I can with the solar panel, dried my stuff off as well. And I've just figured out a way how to put my um, solar panel, new solar panel on the, um, my bag. Seems okay. I've got the two clips it came with there on the top bit of my bag, and then I've got these um, thing I got from Poundland on the bottom bit. And then there's two clips at the top of my bag. Pronounce this name of this bag: D Detour, Detour bag, German bag. Hopefully that's okay. Just making my way to Kitty J's grave across the moors, and here it is at crossroads. This would have been an old, I guess, horse and cart road at one point, so it would have been a crossroads. One of them's tarmacked, one of them's just like a horse track now, really. Oh, it's got loads of flowers left for it. So basically, the story goes she got uh, she got pregnant. And uh, back in those days, hundreds of years ago, um, it was like really shameful. So um, she ended up hanging herself, committed suicide. And because she committed suicide, um, she wasn't allowed to be buried in um, a churchyard. So the tradition was for suicide, uh, suicides to be buried at crossroads. And I think in the 50s, someone was uh, tarmacking this road and rediscovered her, her body, then they put it, put it here and uh, not far from where it's found and put a headstone for it. It's a really sad story and uh, people leave offerings and money as you can see. Um, story of persecution uh, which carries on today. Very sad. up to what I thought was a standing stone, but it looks like it could be some kind of First World War, Second World War Memorial. So there's some writing on there. Uh, R, could be R-E-F, R-A-F. Yeah. 
Pilgrim's Pound, an ancient um, settlement in uh, Dartmoor, heavily reconstructed. Um, I believe it was all under the earth, if I remember rightly, and it's been, um, as unfortunately, it's been reconstructed. So that's what I think, anyway. Um, probably best looking up, but if it has, um, it's a shame because. You know, this might not be a reflection of how it actually looked. Um, I'm not a fan of reconstructions, but it looks cool. But it's a bit, uh, bit of a myth. It's just lasted like this for thousands of years. I think it's thousands of years old. It's supposed to be, but yeah, it's definitely a myth. But, um, Ruins like this, which has lasted thousands of years, not been totally amount of sediment. Which I think it was, they found it under sediment and they just reconstructed it, as I said. Might be wrong, check it out. But there's loads of little, these are little houses. Just did some droning. Just got like a window when the tourists left. I didn't think, I thought I'd have to camp here to the morning to have a chance, but luckily. Yeah, the tourists are all gone now, so I can go to my next spot. Weird, sudden rush of tourists, now it's gone quiet. There's another one there. So yeah, this is Grimm's Pound, well worth a visit. Um, unfortunately though, reconstructed I think. the two moors way i did this quite a few years ago probably i don't know could be over five years ago i did this uh two moors way the whole thing it's like a coast to coast um very good hike apart from the middle bit's a bit boring it goes through um those are farmlands which also not really that, that great but x more dark than this um, i'm going just on the two moors way today just on a, a, a bit of it over to uh, Stone Circle in that forest over there and I'm off the two miles away when I get to there and then uh, I'm going to uh, uh, come and, it's a double stone circle um, Withers Stone Circle or something I can't remember what it's called now but uh, yeah that's where I'm heading for tonight maybe or if it's windy still I'm going to camp in the forest by the Stone Circle Still on the uh, Two Moors Way for one of the famous, famous crosses on Dartmoor, famous uh, ancient Christian uh, cross. This one uh, is on Two Moors Way, it's quite famous one, it's only about, but this is a quite famous one as I said. And it's uh, just up there, just up the road there, is one of Britain's highest 
Cups. I think maybe the third highest pub in the room. Uh, the highest pub in uh, Dark. Just come from up that way. We've got to go up over there to these. It's a two with a stone circle. Folks, I found a wild camping spot for tonight, but um, I'm not camping by the stone, any of the stone circles in the forest or uh, Grey Weaver's uh, double stone circle because, well, it's not really, you can't really camp there. I have done before and other people do, but I really can't be bored to walk any further either, so I'm just camped on the edge of the forest where I'm going to camp anyway, as when protection is. 30 to 40 mile per hour winds tonight. It's supposed to be not windy tonight. But, uh, um, so I'm going to go there in the morning, have a look at it in the morning, do some video. Hopefully, not windy and a bit, a bit of droning. Um, got a rip, got a stream just over there as well. So, uh, as soon as I saw it, I thought, ah, fuck it, I'll put the tent up here. At Fenworth Reef Forest, Stone Circle and Stone Line. It looks like quite a small stone line remains and uh, here's a stone circle, it's quite boggy here. It's in the forest, Fenworthy Forest. So let's just call it Fenworthy Stone Circle, I'm not sure if that's the name for it but it's in Fen Fenworthy Forest I think it's called by a reservoir, Fenworthy Reservoir probably. Um, yeah it's quite nice. I don't know the history if this has been heavily restored but they all have if they're standing up, so it's been restored at some point. If it was thousands of years old, it would all be under the ground in sediment. Unless it's been cared for for thousands of years, as I always say. So let's do some droning. I don't think there's any um, stone road down here, is there? No, that seems to be it. Let's get some droning done before everybody arrives.
he joined me at uh, two, I think it's called Two Weathers Stone Circle. It's a double stone circle. Oh, I don't know if anyone's here, I can get some drone footage, cool. That's why I'm sounding funny. Okay. Right. Yeah, no one's here yet. Let's get the drone out. Um, it has, um, they admittedly have restored it, um, I think it's, they say it's the original stones, they think maybe it's how it was, but obviously they can't be sure, so it probably isn't. Um, it's a double stone circle, hopefully it is restored the way it was, but obviously that's impossible, so we will never know what it actually really looked like. But still apparently original stones that was found here so um, it's a very interesting site I'm not seen a um, I don't think I've seen a double stone circle like this before there's actually a double was a double stone circle in uh, Avebury actually in the bigger circle inside the bigger circle so they're not it's not Not that common though. It's uh, I've camped here once before years ago. Camped in actually stone circle. This one over here, I think. Or actually, it might have been this one I'm in now. I'm not sure. Who knows? I can't remember. It's what quite a while ago. It's quite out of the way. I did see one person hike through here just before I got here, so I was thinking, oh, it's going to be really busy. Dartmoor seems to be seriously busy these days even though it's not even holidays at the moment or a weekend but it's still even in the winter it seems pretty busy so if you want to photograph anything like this you've got to get here so early
ancient woodland at Dartmoor. Can't remember the name of it, but it's famous. Um, just come here actually. Wasn't going to come here, but um, I thought I'd come here to get in the shade because it's so hot today, I'm sunburnt. Must be about 25 Celsius in bloody spring, early spring. Fucking very strange weather. So that's it was on the way to where I was going to go. I decided I was going to go and yeah I thought we'd come and look at it and get some shade at the same time oh, it looks like I should get some shade along here ah oh, perfect Just perfect. Oh, I'm gonna get some shade. I'm um, just gonna have a walk out of this uh, forest for a second. I'm gonna try and find somewhere near here to camp. I don't wanna actually camp here because it's quite a very popular tourist spot. So shitloads of people have been keep coming here all day. So wild camping spot, not too far from the um, ancient forest. Not camping right by it though because it's forbidden camping there. Um, camping up on a tour. In the distance you can see uh, Prince Town, I believe, in the Prince Town area. Uh, this is my little camping spot. So hopefully that's all right for tonight. I'm just gonna get some water from um, the river down below. So yeah, it's got a bit of wind protection as you can see. Uh, that's a right little camping spot. I think. Do you know what folks, it's been a boiling hot day, it's not even mid-spring, it feels like um, it's 30 Celsius, that's what it actually felt like today, it was probably 20 summer but it felt like 30, it was absolutely burnt and yet there still is plenty of water in this river in Dartmoor by the ancient forest, about to brush my teeth, this is my bathroom for today, brushing my teeth then I'm heading back up to the tent. This is my uh, view from the uh, camping spot where I'm camping up on the tour uh, by the ancient forest. Um, as you can see, it's um, absolutely stunning. And down that way, right over there is Prince Town. Fantastic, I think it's going to be a nice sunset. <laughs> folks well this is the uh, ancient forest or part of it this is um, a little bit offshoot of the ancient forest uh, but it's part of it and um, I've sort of give it a bit of a film this morning because the Sun is at a better angle than it was yesterday um, so filming from this angle 
So yeah, that's part of the uh, ancient forest. Some more of the ancient forest of uh, Britain. Um, this is supposedly remains of an ancient forest. Um, supposedly. It's very beautiful, whether it is ancient or not. My thought is, I, I, I'm not sure what evidence I've got to say this is part of an ancient forest that stood here for thousands of years. You know, you could have um, gone, come back, gone, come back, not constantly been there for thousands of years, so obviously these trees are not thousands of years old, but supposedly there's been a f trees there for thousands of years. Well folks, if you are in the area, this uh, ancient forest is definitely worth a visit. It's very beautiful. Um, I'm just leaving it now and I've got to walk down that way where I'm going to catch a bus. Uh, to have a stock to charge my drone batteries. We come to a ford, old uh, track, old ford, there's a modern road now with a bridge I think, but yeah this is the old old ford, it's pretty deep at the moment, even though it's been raining for days and days, a restored ancient Christian cross on Dartmoor, on the way to this worthy stone circle. Uh, I don't know how old this is supposed to be, but apparently it's admittedly restored. At um, Bisworthy, it's called Bisworthy, Bisworthy Stone Circle, it's near Bisworthy anyway. Um, I'm not sure about the history of this one, and again the stones are all upright, so unless they've been careful for thousands of years. They've obviously been put back up right at some point and dug up out of the sediment and supposedly put back up in the way whoever restored them thinks Sturkle will look like. There's no way of knowing what, what it would look like. And of course the same is true, if they hadn't restored them we still wouldn't know what it looked like. It's quite nice when they've been restored though, I do like the they're, they're pleasing on the eye, but it doesn't really give the game away because we have no idea if it resembles anything anything like it was when it was um, first assembled and of course there were other things to the circle probably which have deteriorated away as well. So um, yeah, but it's a very beautiful stone circle. I can't believe I'm the only one here on the day like this. It's not that far from um, a small road and a car park by the looks of it. So I'm going to get some droning done before people get here. Um, 
beautiful day. It's not quite sunset yet, but unfortunately we're going to have to leave it before sunset. It's not allowed to come here. This is particular party is quite near. So I'm actually this bit. Uh, so it's fair enough. Um, it's a lovely spot. Actually, I really like this. So, oddly enough, this is one of the ones that I've actually closed. It's actually a car park from here. It feels like, yeah, it feels nice peaceful. It feels absolutely peaceful. It's a Friday. I've got it's 6.19. It's beautiful weather. It's quite sunny here. It's quite sunny. Um, an old ruins. I can't remember the name of it, but it's um, it featured in the film um, War Horse that was filmed up in Dartmoor. Uh, this farmer was telling me. Um, that's beautiful, isn't it? Wow, it's incredible. Hoping I can get some droning done. I can't believe no one's here. Maybe there are. Maybe there's some people camping here. I don't know. This is incredible. Wow. Check that out. Here we go, this is what it's called. No camping, no fires, no use of the rounds for the idiot.
standing next to a um, ancient um, reconstruction of a tomb, probably a reconstruction. Um, most of the um, most of the barrows and tombs are Victorian reconstructions. Um, I have no way of knowing how much it's been meddled with over the time. But um, anyway, it's supposedly an ancient tomb. Um, it's in very good condition for being thousands of years old. And uh, we've got Dartmoor's tallest standing stone uh, by where I'm camping. Um, I believe it's Dartmoor's tallest standing stone. I don't think it's the tallest standing stone in um, in um, Devon. I think it's, it's, it might be the tallest standing stone in Devon, but it's definitely the tallest standing stone in. Um, Dartmoor and there's loads of cairns and little stone rows over here but uh, maybe I'll show you that tomorrow.
Start of um, Stone Circle Line. It goes up to a Carn Circle, and um, we've got some Carns here, burial Carns. Over there looks like a settlement, some ancient settlement, possibly. Got like a what looks like a natural rocking ground in the alignment. Um, okay, so I'm just walking towards the Stone Circle now. Thank you. 
Join me at Todd Fun's house on um, Dartmoor. Um, there's some water here. It looks like it's coming out of an old mine, and somebody has chucked in some plastic container. God knows what that contained. So there's no chance I'm going to be taking water out of there to drink. Because I'm a known to a lot of people. Water was not actually filled around chemicals. So I won't be touching uh, that water with a barge pole. I've still got some water left. So I won't chance in drinking that. This is a water source. It's coming out of an old mine by the looks of it. Um, and I don't know if you can see, there's some kind of plastic container down there, which is bloody bad. Oh no, it's a plastic lid of some kind still. It looks like it's uh, some kind of mine shaft. Maybe it's a, just a tunnel they built for the water. I don't know. It says no admittance, authorised personnel only. So I'm in my uh, Helium F10 Van Gogh tent, and there's already a hole in the um, in the mesh just here and I thought it was next to get through. I used it, this is the um, this is the second time this is the second or third time using it. I was here last night there was quite a lot of people camping around here. This is where I used to go camping just before I got to get a bus from Oakhampton. Um, so I got here last night, which was, um, uh, it was uh, Saturday night, or Saturday afternoon. And um, then I get the bus on Monday from Oakhampton, so I walk a little bit closer. Decided to camp in a spot I've camped before, but I walked past, so I know it's a good camping spot. It's got a fantastic view, and it's not too far to walk to a I must stop and go to the captain tomorrow morning, so um, I'm going to do that. 
face the camera with my spirit torch and talk of the Not all. I've camped here before. Okay folks, well that's a wrap. Um, this is the end of the, um, the movie, the spiritual one week journey of uh, Dartmoor World Camping. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, just as I'm leaving, the weather's gone downhill a bit. I can really see the influence. And um, had a fantastic week. We started off windy and the next day then later in the day it was raining raining all day the next day but the rest of the week very hot a bit hot for hiking but i prefer it to be cloudy uh, but not too cold uh, no rain of course and no wind that's that's my perfect weather unless or oh, breeze if the other ones are flies about yeah breeze is handy especially in scotland for the snow ages um, so yeah um, please subscribe if you like the uh, video and um, thanks again.